Okay, so we've seen how uh, the central limit theorem can be used, um, and we've also seen how we can look at the normal distribution, the distribution of the means. Now, it is quite often the case that if you are using, um, doing this kind of thing in practice, in real life, the likelihood of you knowing the variance or standard deviation of the population is quite slim. Um, so, there must be some way of finding an estimator, a way of estimating the variance using a sample. And thankfully there is. Now we can estimate the mean very easily, uh, find the mean of the sample. So, as long as the sample is large enough, um, finding the mean will be fine. But, for the variance, what we can do is find the variance of the sample of those numbers. So, to find the variance, if you remember, this is back to the first set of videos, that would be um, the sum of the each of the elements, take away the mean, squared, and divide that, sorry, I'm, I've written this in the wrong way, let me try that again, Put the summation symbol down there, so the summation, sorry, of the x, xi's minus x bars, all over n. So this was the uh, variance as it can be calculated. Now, um, if you're doing it for a sample, and you want to use it as an estimate for the population variance, this isn't quite good enough. This gives you a biased estimator, it turns out. Uh, we want an unbiased estimator. And so, um, an unbiased estimate, estimator can be found by, instead of writing uh, sigma squared, I'm going to write s squared for the unbiased estimator for the variance. And the calculation looks very much the same, but instead of dividing by n, we divide by n minus 1. Now, the reasoning as to why this works better is a little bit beyond the scope of this course. And it's it can be shown, if you look from Google through the internet, just if you wanted to have a good understanding of why this occurs, um, it's a bit of a Google search, uh, but there are some particular examples that are out there which can show you how this works properly. So, an unbiased estimator for the variance can be found by taking each of the sample elements taking away the mean, squaring them, summing them all together, and dividing by n minus 1 rather than n. Okay? So we're going to see this in action um, in the next couple of videos, so I can show you kind of how this question is going to relate itself in the exam.